You know what? It's been now 21 years that we've been here, and I, I've seen a sensitivity. Um, you don't always, in baseball, in the clubhouse, you don't always see things in, in an obvious way. But really, the, uh, when we started in 1993, we began at the very early, uh, at the outset, we began with a, a program called Until There's a Cure Day, which was an annual event around uh, AIDS awareness and what AIDS is and what AIDS isn't. And we have players wearing the red ribbon. And I, I have to say it was quite remarkable. Some of the leaders in that uh, movement, uh, Barry Bonds and Dusty Baker, the manager at the time, uh, as we were wearing the red ribbon and as we were forming a ribbon on the field before a designated game every year, as we were filming public uh, service announcements and as we were embracing organizations from the, uh, the uh, LGBT community and organizations that were related to AIDS research and AIDS uh, funding, uh, we were able to get a really strong response from the players in a positive way. And um, so I have to say, really, in the 20 years, it's been pretty consistent. Um, I don't know that it, it, not every player was thoroughly engaged, mm -hmm. but there was never really any resistance. I remember once there was a player, one time, who said he preferred not to participate in the ceremonies. And that, you know, that's okay. I mean, we, we can't mandate that or compel that. Uh, but I can, and that was early on, I think it was 94, 95. Since then, we've had 100%. Uh, participation in all in, in until there's a cure day, and then when it uh, when we got to the it gets better video, uh, tremendous participation all the way to Jason Collins and uh, some of our players tweeting out about uh, in support of him.